and it says we are live so let me double check <laughs> to see if we are indeed live yet so if you see us and you're here in the comments make sure to tell us that you see me okay it says that we are live i see us i see us are you able to see or do you have any do you have the uh, comment yeah let me pull up my own device and see i just wanted to know if you were able to see if not i mean it doesn't matter because i can put it on there yes. but we are going to wait a few minutes for people to come in because it looks like there's a little bit of a lag with it getting going so if you are here in the comments cheryl steven says we are live thank you Thanks, much cheryl for letting us know i never quite know if it is just says it on Streamyard if we're live or if it's for true for true that we are um Cheryl, I like your new icon. That's cute. I like that picture. So <clears throat> I'm excited to have you on today, Michelle. We've been kind of trying to get this going for a couple of months now, and we're finally able to do it. Yeah, so, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, for having me as your guest. I'm really thrilled to be here. Yeah, no worries whatsoever. Um, I know that we had had it on the calendar and then something came up and we had to move it. So I'm glad that we were able to do this. So we are letting it get caught up um, and let the notifications, which I don't know if anybody else got their notifications because some people are telling me their notifications aren't coming through. Hey, Vicki, how are you? Um, the notifications are not coming through until like 45 minutes later. And I'm like, well, that doesn't do us any good. Uh, it doesn't help. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah lots of fun things today um we're excited to have a sale i need that hat uh need that hat for real since i got my hair cut short oh no it's way too short for you don't you hate that <laughs> i hate that i i take a philosopher's approach to it i'm just like well hair grows oh, i'm sorry cheryl <laughs> i hope your hair grows back real fast oh B vicky got her notification at five so that's good um, Cheryl, I've always had really long hair and uh, recently I cut nine inches. I was telling people I cut it because I had my hair up in a ponytail and I noticed that the ends were like really scraggly. Right. And I was like, well, let me just pull it and cut it. Right. And even it up. But I forgot it was in a ponytail. And then when <laughs> I got to school, I was like, why is it going like this? And so I pulled it on this side and it just got worse and worse. Oh. Um, and so, oh, yeah, she said she hates it. Oh, my gosh, that's the worst. Sorry. Girl, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, and I, so long story short, I haven't had my cut, hair cut in a long time, but we ended up having to cut nine inches off just to get it even. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, Angie said, I got my notifications, but I'm driving. Well, please drive safely. Thank you for tuning in and letting us know. I once, uh, I have always had hair about down to my bottom or my waistband of my pants. And there, I went to get a trim and this lady was talking to me and she kind of put my hair in a ponytail just to kind of gather it. And she wasn't paying attention. And she went like this and cut, she cut 10 and a half inches off my hair. I was there for a trim. I literally thought I was going to throw up. I so, hope she didn't charge you for the haircut because that's terrible. You have like one job as a hairdresser. <laughs> yeah. so she was just talking and everything. Uh, she she says she won't do it again. I, I I didn't have my haircut for years after that. But I, I yeah. 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 I, I can't the opposite. I had long hair and after I spent time in the hospital last fall I asked them to cut it off and the hairdresser yeah. asked me about 10 times are you sure are you mm -hmm. sure I was like yes yes cut it off so she it's was a lot to keep up with it's a lot to keep up with yeah um I mean you can keep it clean but you can't keep it pretty so pick one like <laughs> if you have a shorter style you know how you can get it bobbed or whatever you can do clean and pretty but when it's long it's just clean that's yeah. all you can do with it and put it up so <laughs> y'all will have to excuse me um in texas today it's we had like a 52 day on like a weekend and then by like monday or tuesday it was 90. so everything is covered in yellow pollen uh everybody is sickly 
Uh, we all have allergies and stuff and, you know, just the eyes, itchy, watery eyes and everything. So all of us asthmatics are coughing, but we're hoping that it'll kind of die down a little bit. It's that's a lot. A lot of my kids are sick with all the allergies and asthma stuff. It's just it's no go. So if you're here in the comments or here watching, let us know by saying hi in the chat. I am super excited because we're going to have a live sale today. And I have Michelle from Emancipation 300. I usually say 3,000, but it's really 300. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, and she is excited to be here. She's been, we've been trying to get this going, but we finally got it. Um, and so we are just going to let her tell a little bit about herself. And she's going to tell you from where she's shipping and all the things. Hey, Roxana. Roxana, did you get my message? Yes, you did. About uh, I'm going to be um, invoicing this weekend. And thank you all for that. Thank you for that. For those. Hey, Chad, how are you? <clears throat> for those of you who didn't hear, um, I work in a clinic in an elementary school. And two weeks ago, Friday, um, I'm the assistant. Hey, Annette, how are you? Uh, thanks for coming. I'm the assistant and um, tomorrow makes two weeks. I left my nurse. We were laughing, saying, hey, see you later. She was still at work. I was leaving. And about uh, about 30 minutes later, she unfortunately suffered a brain bleed stroke at school. Mm -hmm. um, and currently we are just really praying for her. Um, we have not had any new neurological signs from her um, and she still is she's out of the medically induced coma, but she still hasn't woken up on her own and been able to be unintimated. So um, just praying for my nurse. And that means that I'm the nurse now. <laughs> Promotion. <laughs> Motion without pay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's a learning curve for sure. Um, thank God that I come from a bunch of nurses in, in my family and I've had a lot of medical experience um, because it's all come in very handy. Let's just say that. But it makes for long days. I saw 39 kids today. So um, we were just making sure that we could get our clinic up and running and, um, you know, learning things on the fly. So for those people <clears throat> that um, bought from last Thursday's sale, I sent an email to everybody and said, you know, if you need it right now, I can stop and invoice yours, but I won't be able to invoice everybody's until this weekend. That way we could do both sales. Um, and it's spring break, so I can kind of take a break and, and get everybody invoiced. So thank you to those people. Um, I have four or five people that are still waiting for their um, invoices, and I will be doing that probably Saturday of this weekend to get that done with la that sale and this sale. So thank you all, all for being here. I'm super excited to have Michelle here. I'm going to let Michelle come over, and I'm going to let her... Um, tell you a little bit about herself, her channel, where you can find her, um, from where she's shipping, all the things, y'all. Yeah, thank Don't. you so much, Beth, for having me on your channel. It's really um, great to be here. I am very rusty. I feel like I haven't done a live sale in probably a year. Hey, hey, Apple. Um, and but I'm really happy. I was super thankful for Beth for inviting me on. Um, I have a full-time job. I am doing a part-time um, uh, counseling degree online and wow. I'm a mother of a 10 year old. So I don't have a lot of time, um, but thrifting has just been part of my life, my whole life. My dad used to take me dumpster diving when I was a very little girl. So it's in my blood and I love finding a good deal. And I love um, the sort of the community that <laughs> Yes, it is busy. It is busy. I love the community that sort of rallies around uh, on YouTube. So I've been part of the YouTube community since during COVID. Um, and I just want to thank those that reached out to me. I suffered a pulmonary embolism in November and I've been fighting back from that ever since. So there's my son. Hi, Jeremiah. <laughs> um, so just thank you for everybody who um, yeah, popped in, just said hello, who've been just so graciously um, supporting me through it. I'm feeling very well. Thankfully, I'm recovering. It's slow, but I'm getting there. And um, yeah, this will be a fun sale to do. So thank you so much, Beth. I'm excited. I'm to have 
Yeah. I'm shipping from the state of Connecticut, so I'm on the East Coast. Um, oh, Apple, you're so kind. Um, so I am shipping from the East Coast from Connecticut. I use Pirate Ship. I will likely invoice this weekend uh, because I do full work full time. So tomorrow's a work day for me. Um, but I will uh, hopefully get this packaged up and out to you uh, this weekend. Is there anything else that I needed to say about? Um, that's about it. So you said you're doing it from the it's the East Coast area. And um, I think that's it. Yeah. Mm, connect Cheryl said she's in Connecticut too. Cheryl is in Connecticut too. Cheryl, have you met Helen, the New England thrifter? Her and I. Oh my God, I love Miss Helen. Yeah, so her and I and Roy from Dust Not Included, we often get um, get together and cause a havoc and pandemonium. So um, they are my East Coast friends. So <laughs> they're so much fun. They're so much fun. Actually, Miss Helen's going to be in the drop sale that we're having next week. Awesome. Um, the March drop sale, Miss Helen's going to be in it with us. Okay. okay, great. Fantastic. All right. And did you want me to start, Beth? As you, 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 you did, we're going to do um, five rounds. We're each going to show three at a time. All of hers are going to be offer up, right, Michelle? Yes, they're going to be offer up. Yes. Yeah. So I'll be putting in the start. Um, if you don't know how this works, if you're watching, you don't know how this works. All of her items are going to have a starting price. Um, if you're interested, you will put that price in and then it would be if more than one person is interested, it will go up in dot one dollar increments and then we will count it down. And um, then the person with the highest offer at the end is the one who um, gets the right to claim that item. For me, my items are going to be um, straight claim. There's some choice and a few offer ups and mine will all have a number associated with them if they're not. So sweet, sweet. All Pretty right. Good. All righty. Um, well, I will start. I pulled some Easter items today um, because we're getting close and I am not successful in ever finding St. Patrick's Day, although it looks like you have some St. Patrick's Day, Beth. Too. I have a few things that I have, you know, hoarded over the years. <laughs> so this is my first item that I found, which is a blue bunny bank. And I hope it will come in, but it's very much akin to like the chocolate Easter um bunnies except for his head is super small and his body's super big which um but he is a bank he actually what is the starting a, price uh this one i'm going to start at 15. okay um and so she is uh they are about six inches tall and and this is a bank it comes off there's a plastic insert on the bottom which is damaged there's a spot on there so that is a bit of damage in the plastic, but I think you could just use it like this um, and be fine in your uh, Easter display. But this is a very cutie. I looked online, I looked forever for a similar piece and I could not find it. So I have a feeling it's on the older side. Um, the plastic is, the color. Is, is definitely brittle. So it is definitely a piece that is uh, older. So, hey, Heidi. <laughs> hey, Annette. I don't think I, I like that it's not pink. Yes. No, yeah. I, I love the blues. I've got a bunch of blue glass today. In fact, I have a lot of glass today. Um, but I do love a pop of blue. Uh, especially around this time of year, a nice pastel. I know. I, lo I love the blue colors and the teals yeah. with the yeah. pink and the yellow. I mean, I think they're all really great. Yeah, and I've never seen anything like this. So I grabbed it when I could find it. So right. he's got a couple of sweet whiskers up there. And then he's, he's, his ears actually have detail, too, that my camera is not deciding not to pick up because of my head. That's all really right. sweet. Okay, so I don't see any interest in that one. So we'll we'll keep moving on. All right. Um, I will just keep going on the bunny theme. Um, this little guy is going to be, uh, we'll start him at 10. This little, um, he's like a purple color. I, would, I don't say burgundy. He's kind of a burgundy pink color. Um, and then he is just this sweet little bunny with these poke up ears. 
which I think is just so cute. It's all glass too. Huh? All glass. Yeah. And then his tail is a little pinch here. Uh, and then there's a pinch here at the nose for him as well. So, but he's, uh, he is That's the pink, different. but he's not like a hot pink. He's just a really nice tame pink. And he's about three inches long, three and a half inches long. And then he's got this wide body. And Apple's in at 10. Thank you, Apple. And I've never seen a bunny like this. But I love his ears, his pointy little ears. I know. It's a little bit different stance. And I think that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he's got a very polished bottom. And then, he, yes, he's got these two little front paws, too. We all have wide bodies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Who are you doing? Yeah. And I know he's showing a little bit brown on the screen. I think it has to do with the color of my walls but he is actually this cool purpley color um yeah all right well we can start a countdown on him okay so cute if you'll go ahead and count it down you can do it count it down from 10 if you like okay 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 it and he's staying you're staying on the east coast you don't have to travel very far to miss apple so cute so so cute that goes to apple for ten dollars yeah thank you apple you're gonna love him he's gonna be great addition for the season um the next item that i have um will be starting at 15 I believe, um, and this is a pair of cruel um, uh, framed flower prints. Um, and so, <laughs> Jeremiah Apple knows because she knows me, honey. <laughs> He's like interrogating people in the chat. <laughs> uh, and these frames are uh, eight and a half by about six and a half each. And they're just a pair of matching whoop, cruel. Um, and they look great side by side. If you're doing sort of um, a smaller collectible wall, they would be great in there. And then it just got some beautiful spring flowers on them. The backing is brown, so it's a little bit darker. So those bright colors really pop. And then they've been professionally, um, I actually will take this off. But this is, <laughs> uh, they've been professionally framed at the back, I believe. So that's those two. Yeah, it is very boho. Yeah. I, I considered trying to do some cruel work and um, the directions were just too much. So I just had to put that away. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah, there's quite a few stitches in here. That's the thing. You have to learn all of the different stitches. They're all di yeah, they're all different to make the texture. And I'm like, yeah, I, I can't. I simply can't be asked to learn that much. Yeah. <laughs> This is definitely a very 70s, 80s uh, hobby pastime. So it doesn't look like there's much more interest. So we'll pass on those and we'll pass it back to you, Beth. All right, y'all, let me switch over. And <clears throat> I've got some Easter and some St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, and I've got some little sets and things. And the first one is, a little dish set that I've put together. It is one bowl and it is one saucer. Now these are, now I have it done up in the purple tool. And the reason that I have that is because these are like booth ready. Um, and so I'm gonna take it out and show you up close. These are lands down um, USA. The, let's see, there is dust in it. It says that they're, oh, it must be on the plate. Yes. So there's a little chip on the plate, but this is the bowl. Let me show you the back first. Lands down by Salem made in the USA here. And um, there's a marking here, but I, right there, but I can't read that. But I love the pastel colors in this. I just think this is super cute, maybe to put, soaps in or something like that in um the restroom and then this is the plate that matches now i do want to say that right here 
right there is a little chip. You see that? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but yeah. there's a little chip there. Um, so it is the plate and the bowl. Now that's probably like a little, I guess it's a bread plate. Um, the plate is six and a half inches in diameter. So the plate is six and a half inches in diameter. The bowl is five and a half inches in diameter and about three quarter inches deep. So five and a half and three quarter inches deep. It is a matching set. It is going to be just five dollars, five dollars for this bowl and plate set. Number 20, five dollars, number 20 for the bowl and plate little Easter set. I thought this was really cute. You could use it either in the kitchen or in a display. I thought that was really pretty. Um, and again, I'll leave it tied up um, because that keeps it from sliding all over the place. I know it is purdy, isn't it? Purdy, that's a cute word. All right, y'all, the next one, and I go pretty fast, so just let me know. Thank you so much for y'all being here. You know what I forgot to say? Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Beth. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for dropping by. I'm shipping from Houston, Texas. <laughs> I use Pirate Ship and PayPal. I will be shipping this weekend um, and combining what I had with last week based on the, the things that are going on around here. I was able to combine two, and I totally forgot to tell y'all that. Um, this is my email. You will need to send me, hey, Miss Martha. You'll need to send me your first and last name, your YouTube name, if it is different, a complete mailing address, and your PayPal email address. You will be getting all of the things listed that you purchase on a PayPal invoice, and then you'll get a shipping cost. Shipping is not included in the price of these items. Having done that and jumped ahead of myself, let's go back to the pretty items. So, um, Let's see. The next I have is going to be a $10 straight price. I know. Hey, Christopher, how are you? I am the joy of Miss Bella Rose. That's my mama, y'all, Miss Bella Rose. I have a um, pink frosted perfume bottle. Um, and it's going to be $10. It has its stopper and it has a transfer on the front. Hey, Miss Patricia, how are you? So it's got the little yellow flower here. It is a pink frost glass. It does not have a make or a mark on it. Now, just to double check, there is a bubble right here. You can see that. There's a bubble like there. It looks like a scuff is what it looks like, but I think it's a bubble. Um, and it also has its stopper, its matching stopper. And it is. Um, so it's a perfume bottle, pink frosted glass, and it is going to be five inches tall and it's going to be five inches tall and two and a half at the base. So it's a good size, beautiful little, hey, bus a move, how are you? It's a beautiful little, um, pretty soft piece. It is going to be just $10, $10, number 25, $10, number 25. Hey, Miss Nancy, how are you, sweetie? Thank you for coming. Hope everything's going good with you. Um, and I love that little perfume bottle. I think that it, it would look great. If you had multiple colors of these, I think those are pretty, um, the little glass perfume bottles. Yeah. All right, that was $10, number 25. And the next item that I have is a bigger item. And you know, I got to bring you some clear glass because I'm all about the clear glass. And I am bringing um, a two-piece clear glass egg, Easter egg, with a frosted glass for the roses on the top and the bottom. This is a Germany piece. That's what I'm finding. And let me show you. So here's the, the this is how it sets together. But it is a thick piece of clear glass. On the bottom, you have that beautiful rose frosted um, pressed piece there. And then it has the clear thumbprints. There's th clear thumbprints all around. There is a, I think that's a bubble. Yeah, because that's on the inside. Hold on, let me double check. I'm going to call it a chip, but I think it's a bubble right here. 
because see it's no sharper than the edges and this one is in great condition so no matter how you put it now it's flat on both sides and this is um, the bottom. I just think this is really, really pretty. It's a good size. Let me give you some dimensions. This one is going to be $14, number 30, $14, number 30. And it is five and a quarter inches tall, five and a quarter inches tall, and about five inches wide so it is a really good size five and a quarter by about five inches hey carrie ann um this is a two-piece now i'm not going to call this a fairy light i guess you could but i i think it's just a clear easter egg what i'm finding and it's a germany piece but that's just what i found in um using some lenses and things yeah um but i've got that isn't it pretty yeah I love how it's it's pressed. The design is pressed into the glass, so you can see that. Um, and then I love that it it has this fitting. That's how it fits. Yeah, yeah. It'd be great with jelly beans or sea glass. I know a little bit of Easter grass and some candy or those um, those uh, pastel colored Reese cups. Oh, Ooh. yeah, frosted and clear. Yeah, Jordan cool. almonds. They would look good in that too. Oh, Jordan almonds, yes, and almonds are protein. So, yes, this again is number, uh, it is $14, number 30. $14, number 30. All right, that is my first three. So let me bring it back over to Michelle. All right, we're going to jump a few um, centuries. And I found this little tiny atomic brooch. It is yes. sparkly. It's kind of like an acrylic or... Yeah. See you, Amy. Thank you. Um, and this one is going to be uh, start at $8. And it's Little Painter's Palette with some atomic stars on it. This is a more modern. I don't think there's anything really vintage, but it's supposed to just look vintage. Um, but it's a very nice, lightweight brooch. And I thought the atomic stars on it were great. And the little kind of a um, glittery green back is fantastic this little guy isn't too big but he's going to make a little bit of a statement at just over two inches wide and i just thought he was a really fun little piece if you like to have a little bit of sparkle and shimmer and a little bit of retro vibe going on so that's my first piece we'll pass on that one that um, is the, really next, too. the next one i have will start at six dollars um and this is another this is a little lamb a little wilton cake pan uh and as i was checking I out those. when i was checking out everyone was like oh we used to have these um i'll try not to make too much noise but both pieces are here it will make yourself a little lamb cake um it's nice and lightweight to ship but the thing that i thought would be really cute is if you tied like a gingham bow around him and mm -hmm. put him in your Easter display, he would be really sweet. So again, you can make a cake. Go ahead, make a cake. Decorate it all <laughs> you want. But I think he would be great in a display. And this is a, uh, I think this is 1994. The mold is, which is the year I graduated from high school, which makes me feel old. But he's well, about ten older than you. <laughs> <laughs> he's about he's about ten inches long for this. I time. love those for a kitchen yeah. display. I love them. Oh, Apple says make banana bread. Can you make banana bread in one of these? That I mean, why not? You can put it in a butt pan. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I wonder if you would like do a water I mean, bath. That I'd have to have like some cream cheese frosting on it. <laughs> Just pour it on top. <laughs> Drizzle. For the, you know, for effect. <laughs> Drizzled lamb. <laughs> he said, I don't know. I don't bake. Way <laughs> to go, Apple. <laughs> okay. We will pass on this little guy. Um, and then the last item for this round will be um, this American Indian doll. And she's just very cute. She's still got her earrings, got a necklace on, a couple buttons. Um, 
and then has this great velvet dress. She will start. Did I say she would start at ten dollars? Did I say that? Started at ten. Got it. Started at ten, and she is just just under eleven inches long. But I love, I love these guys. Tall. I love these guys because it's just sort of like scraps that were found, yeah. and even her legs are like half one one type of fabric, half the other. So I whatever love they that. had been. Whatever they had. <laughs> um, and she's very cute. There's a couple of flaws, like her belt is up too high here. Um, there's a couple of flaws on the fabric, but no holes, just sort of little flaws from it being loved. And um, and then she's got this interesting haircut back here, but um, she's still very pretty. <laughs> I think they're, I love those little rag handmade dolls. I just I just think <laughs> Yeah. And I mean, this is not easy to do. A lot of this is probably not even, well, this one is sewn by machine at the back, but some, thank you, Cheryl. Um, but some of these I'm sure were even sewn by hand. This one is definitely done by machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's, she's lovely. I love her, um, her side eye too. She's got some good side eye going on here. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll count down for Cheryl for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good end and sold to Cheryl. And you're not even leaving the state. You're going to stay right here in Connecticut where I found you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. She <laughs> oh, said it's because I can relate to the haircut. Oh, poor Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. Cheryl, that's the worst. Oh. And that's my favorite. I'm sure it's cute. Hey, Miss Ellen, we were just talking about you. Um, oh, I'm sure the haircut is cute. I just don't think she likes it. So she'll be she'll be okay. Was that your third? Okay, that we go fast. So we may have time for a recap because we go fast. Okay, y'all, I have a choice. My next is a choice, and it is two St. Patrick's Day, y'all, two St. Patrick's Day Annalise. I never find St. Patrick's Day, and see, see, Miss Cheryl, your hair is not bad. Helen says your hair is cute. Yeah. So I have two of the St. Patrick's Day. Um, Annalise, <clears throat> they are both 2012. One of them is the Bread Chef, um, the Bread Chef with the soda bread. So it does have the bag of Irish soda bread mix right there. And it says a special St. Patrick's Day bread. Um, here is the Annalise tag right here. She has her wooden mixing spoon. Oh, she's at work. We thought we were either at work or in the car. And then she has her little chef's hat with the, um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm going to choke to death, with the little shamrocks on the edge there. No chips or crap, no chips or cracks, no, um, no tears or rips or anything in this one. She's going to measure eight inches and width wise, she's going to be about five inches. And these are going to be $24 choice, $24 choice, and they are twenty number 21. So the first person to put in number 21 will get a choice. Your second one is, the, is called Chipper, the Irish Lad, and he is got his beer stein with his shamrock on there and his hat cocked to the side. I love that his hat and his pants are corduroy. He's so cute. And he's got a little vest on with all the buttons. Oh, <clears throat> and he has a little stand. Now, they both stand up independently. But I just thought that they, I know, he's tipsy. His hat's kind of cock-sided. He's tipsy. So, there's. they are both in perfect condition. And he is also going to be about eight inches. And his stand is uh, about three and three quarters but his tail is actually going to about six so 
These are 2012 St. Patrick's Day Anna Lee dolls. They are a choice of $24, which you normally don't find. He is Irish. Um, <clears throat> that's why he's tipsy. Uh, $24 choice number 21. And I rarely find St. Patrick's Day, but um, when I found these, these were too, too cute. So right. you get a choice between Chipper the Irish Lad, a little dranky drank, or the baker. He is just too, too cute. All right. My next item is also going to be a choice, and it's an earring choice. And these are $8 choice. $8 choice. And let me get them out for you because I had them in little bags to so not mess them up. So I've got Easter's coming. I've got some traditional 80s vintage and then a little bit older vintage. These are marked Roman. Now, if you know anything about Roman, it can be two different people spelled the same way. <clears throat> We're saying that these are Ro they are Roman marked. They are faux pearl and rhinestones. So they are your typical, what I call wedding or black tie affairs. Sometimes these are worn at Easter. They're a faux pearl cabochon with the rhinestones around. They are pierced. <clears throat> so they are a pierced ear. Um, and these are going to be about one inch, one inch there. And the other one is going to be a vintage clip earring that is a painted piece. So these are one inch hand painted floral clip earrings. So these are flat cabochons, but they have been painted and they are $8 each. Uh, for choice, and let me get them on here so I can show y'all how these. Let me see if I can. Beautiful, aren't these pretty? Uh, so they've got some little purple flowers. They are kind of like set into this little setting. Hey, Christy. Uh, hey, Christy. It is an eight dollar choice for your earrings. They are number twenty six. Let me see if y'all can see those. So you see these, the little cabochon prong set right here, and then they are all hand painted. It's got the purple flowers. I don't know what kind of flowers those are. They are oval shaped and they are one inch. So your choice is, why is this so difficult? Your choice is the little clip earrings, the vintage clip earrings for $8 or the more traditional piece. It could be violets for eight dollars and they are number 26 number 26 but i thought these were super cute they're different i love those you could use them as a pin too if you yeah do a lapel but i so. think they're really they're really really cute and they hang like that and the clips are good on them but those are eight dollars number 26 and then my um, next item, the third one for this round is <clears throat> something a little different. I didn't know exactly what they were when I found them. These are, um, now based on what everybody is, because I like send it out to everybody. These are watering, um, watering plugs or water, uh, plant waterings. They are a USA pottery. And they are, they look like the pie bird, but they're little open mouth birds. There's no chips or cracks in these. I actually have two of them. They're only going to be $12 each and they're number 31. <clears throat> they're number 31. I'll give you a little bit of information about them. So the, the little mouth is open. That's where you would put the water and it will sit down in here. And this is porous. This one is not, um, not glazed and so the water would just kind of drip out into that um but it is usa marked it's got the beautiful um i don't know if it's like the brush coloring or pastel coloring it's like airbrushed painted on there we've seen this in another piece of pottery as well and i can't remember what it is i do have two of these again they are twelve dollars number 31 and they are Five, I'm going to call them five and a half inches. 
So I do have two. Oh, but I yeah. Thank I you. Love, I love their little neck like blush. It's so cute. Yeah. So they um they are marked USA. That's all that we could find out about them. Um, and one of the other people in the community told me that they are watering. I, I was like, I know they're not pie birds, but they do have the pie bird mouth, right? Um, but these are the water. This is where the water would come out of that, more like stone. So again, these are $12, number 31. They're $12 each, number 31. We, I have two of those. Hey, Mary, how are you? All right, I'm going to switch you over, Michelle. All right. Your three. <laughs> oh, and uh, Christy, and cleaning out your mom's house has to be a really difficult, difficult task. So love to you tonight. That's that's a hard, tough job. Uh, hey, how are you? Hey, Jackie. Hope you're um, taking good care of yourself, Christy. Oh, Martha would like 31. She would like one. Martha wants one. I got you, Miss Martha, for one of those. <laughs> uh, I, yes, allergies and in, in, into asthma. So we're having some asthma issues, but it's fine. It's all fine. If my mom's listening, I'm not sick. <laughs> I got water. water. Yeah. 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 Texas has exploded into spring. So yeah, Texas yeah. has exploded into spring. <laughs> All right, so I have a lithophane um, fairy light. This one is an Americana theme. So we've got, uh, this is going to test my Americana. Um, but I think we have the Lincoln Monument, the White House, the Capitol Building. Um, What's the start? Uh, this one is going to start at $10. So this is like a bisque, um, and it's a type, you know, a type of uh, fairy lamp, but the, the cool thing is the bisque is so um, thin that everything kind of shines through it. And so this one is actually uh, Americana <laughs> yes, a theme. So you see sort of all the capital um, sites uh, in there. And I just have a little fairy lamp in there. And on the back, it says Bernard Aude out of France. So these are super... Um, Collectible and then super thin. I'm not crazy yeah. about bisque, but these are really cute when they're lit. Um, and they're just so absolutely. Um, I love how you can see everything through. And the windows is going to be But they are very thin. They yeah. They're really thin. <laughs> and I have a nice hard box to mail it in. So um, I will set this guy aside. Oh, Christy, we love you. Um, and then I do have another fairy lamp. This one is going to start, uh, I have to start this one higher. Uh, sorry, hang on now. Um, I'm going to start this one at $30. This is a Fenton Old Virginia. This is a custard glass fairy lamp. Oh, fun. Um, and so this is the Old Virginia pattern. And from what my research tells me, it is Fenton. The nice thing about this one is that the bottom half actually has this great uh, diamond sort of point. Um, and she does glow. She's custard glass. So she does glow. She glows the Dickens as soon as I can find out where my... Hey, Angela. <laughs> so yes, we glow all day, all night. This one is a glowy glow. For sure. Oh, wow. What a good glow. Um, so this one in my That's cabinet. Awesome. Uh, I have a huge um, uh, glowing cabinet. Uh, let me find my tape. Um, so give you measurement. Yeah, I put it in my um, black light cabinet and it, it's one of the glowiest things in there. So it's about. I think you're muted. Sorry. There Hello, you. Angela. <laughs> yeah, it is a glower. This is one of the glowiest things in my collection. So this is about six inches. Again, it's the Fenton Old Virginia, and it is custard glass, so it glows really well. Custard glass glows like anything. No chips or cracks. It's in great condition, even all the diamond points. I was checking those today to make sure none of those were... <laughs> I am so oh, right. Martians, yeah. 
Hey, Angela, good to see you. So that's that guy. And then the last piece uh, for this round that I will share is I always have to bring Viking if I can. And this is a piece of amber of um, glass. This one's going to start at $20. This one's heavy, so I will warn you that it's got a good weight to it, but it is a pedestal compote candy dish. Um, and it is in the color amber. And you've got that great Viking pattern. Um, I need to wear my measuring tape like Helen because mine keeps falling. Um, but it is about nine inches wide. So it's about as bigger than your head. But it's going to, yeah, Those it's gorgeous. So Everything that Viking does, I, I have to admit, I am in love with Viking. So, and I normally don't pick up Amber, but seeing this little beauty in a window was exceptional today. So, yeah, I had to that's beautiful. Up. Yeah. So, all right. Those are my three items. All righty. That is a fancy one. That is <laughs> fancy, fancy. <clears throat> yes. Drinking lots of water. All right. <clears throat> my next item is going to be. Um, it's going to be a six dollar in um, a six dollar price tag, and it's going to be number twenty two, and it is a little Thai bunny named Carrots, and this is a two thousand and one. But look at the little color specks in him or her. This is this one is called Carrots, so she's got the pale piece here on the feet and in the ears with the little yellow bow she sits up like this this would be so cute in an easter basket uh there is her name carrots right there and this one is going to be six dollars number 22 six dollars number 22 i love this little cutie and let's see it she even has a little Cottontail. Get a little cottontail. And I'm going to do to the top of the ear is seven inches. So flat like this, she's going to be seven inches. And across at the feet, she is going to be five and a half inches from here to here. And this cutie little 2001, so she's technically vintage, beanie baby. Well, it's not a beanie baby, but it is a bean. It's, I guess you would call it a beanie baby. Little carrots, the bunny is going to be $6, $6, number 22 for that one. Carrots, the bunny, $6, number 22. I think she is darling. I don't think All I've right. ever seen the flex in the foot. In the I know, the little, it looks like confetti. Yeah. It looks like confetti. Cute. And she's cute. So cute. All right, my next one is a milk glass shoe, and this one is only going to be seven dollars. Um, this one has the daisy and buttons, um, and it has the cat on the edge or over the top. You see that that's the cat. I'm not calling this Fenton. I'm not calling this Fenton for two reasons. One, the shape of the cat. I don't know who else would have made it. Um, but it also doesn't have the indention here. It's it's just a little bit more flat. I think that the Fenton one actually has like a an indention piece here. Now there is a little crack on the inside. I've tried to get that clean, but it is a cute little Daisy and Buttons shoe. Um, and I know that somebody bought my other one that I had the I guess it was da a Fenton Daisy and Button without the cat, and they're going to use it as a planter. And it's going to be super cute. So it's going to be seven dollars, number twenty-seven. Seven dollars, number twenty-seven for the milk glass shoe, and it is going to be six inches, six inches long, and it is uh, two and a half inches. Well, almost three inches, almost three inches to the top. But I'll give you a little glimpse of it all the way around this is supposed to be a cat i don't know who else would have made these 
But um, this one even has the lace holes, which is, I don't think, something that Fenton did either. Um, so this one is just going to be $7, number 27 for that one. Super cute. I love it as a little planter. I didn't even think about using that. And the last one for this round is going to be an offer up. It's going to start at $18. I cannot type to save my life. Not today. All right. This one is so pretty. And if you recently watched, I picked this up I, I because I'm taking it to the shop if it doesn't sell. This is a vintage NASCO emerald green with gold accents, hand-painted bohemian gla glass vase. And they're saying Japan, but it does have, it has a little, like a, a mark right there, but I, it's not a mark like a maker's mark. Um, it's just in the glass. It is flat and clear on the bottom. It has a beautiful green color to this. And it has beautiful gold paint and gold gilding on that. Super shiny. It's in excellent condition. No chips or cracks. The gold gilding is in really good condition for the age. There are a few spots. If you can see, it looks like shadow, but there's a little bit of scratch right there. Has a beautiful ruffle at the top. Look at how that just, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That it has the gold gilding and everything um, around the band and then the ruffle. It is so beautiful. Um, <clears throat> it is about six and a quarter inches tall. And the bulbous part, yes, I said bulbous, is about two and a quarter inches thick but the the paint on this is beautiful this paint is uh raised the little swirls those are all raised and then it's got the gold gilding and then the paint here is raised as well this is a hand painted piece it is a beautiful emerald glass color um emerald green glass color rather but I just thought that was super beautiful. Again, it is starting at $18. Stunning and bulbous. It's a twofer. <laughs> That's what people say about me, too. I'm stunning and bulbous. <laughs> Rounded in the middle. <clears throat> Rounded in the middle with a little ruffle on the top. That's exactly what they say about me. How did right. that gold not get scratched? That's fat. That's amazing. I know. It's in really great condition. I was shocked when I saw it. Now, you can see that it wears. There's a little bit of wear, but I mean, it's almost non-existent as far as damage. But it is in beautiful condition, and it is starting at $18 if you are interested. And those are my three. So I'm going to turn it over to you for your three. All right, I did bring some tiny things. Um, I love to collect little tiny things. And so I brought some Hagen uh, Reniker, um, little tiny guys. So I have uh, the goose with the yellow cowboy hat. I don't have the paper with them, but they all have the paper residue at the bottom of them. So I'm fairly sure they're Hagen Reniker. Um, and then I also have the mother goose and these guys are going to start at $6 for the pair. Oh, sorry. Start at six. That's okay. And um, so this is mother goose and I am going to guess they're two inches, but let's take a measure. Uh, they're two inches. <laughs> and so for the pair of them, they're going to be $6. These are very cute. They look really good in a, um, in a miniature box or a typeset drawer. Um, they're going to be very cute. This guy has a hat. This, well, they both have hats. One is Mother Goose and the other one is known, I think, is the goose with the yellow hat. And that's those little guys. I have more miniatures too. I have more miniatures. Oh, animals. sorry. Show, can you show those again? Because I had 18 up on the screen. Y'all, you're getting the set for six, right? Sorry. Yes, the set for six. Yeah. Yeah. The set of geese for six. Yeah. Sorry. I had it up. I still had my other one up. That's my fault. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. And they're about two inches high. And if you know what Hagen Reniker is, they're yeah. they have a really beautiful, um, nice. Okay. So my second item, we're going back to glass animals now. Um, this time we're going green. Um, 
And these guys are uh, $8 each. <laughs> Um, and I think there's, this one is a seal. I think. I think. Or is this one a seal? <laughs> They're both the same. Um, and you can kind of pick your one that you want. They're the oddest ducks because they're not really the same. This one I would think was sort of going to turn into a bird. And I think somebody oopsied. Um, but I think they're both seals. But they're a deep emerald green. They're beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna guess that they're both seals. But it, I mean it's they I'm look like seals. You can choose for them to be whatever you want them to be. I got them thinking they were birds, and then the long the more that I looked at them, I thought, no, these are seals. They're about three inches tall, these guys. Uh, and they've got this great thumbprint pattern at the bottom of them. So that's my two little seals. Those are cute. Uh, I love that they're green glass too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've collected a bunch of um, colors of glass from my mother um, that sit on her window at home. So I was like, oh, green. Green would be fantastic. Um, the next thing to have is a Viewmaster. And not only do I have the Viewmaster, but I have the Viewmaster box. Wow. Um, and this guy is going to start at $25. Okay, let me take um, this off. So this is for the Viewmaster, a bunch of discs, and the actual case, which I've never seen a case. But apparently this, hey, mommy, that's my mommy. <laughs> uh, apparently this is um, in, uh, this is from the 50s. This I would assume is Bakelite, um, but I don't, I can't actually test it, but it's an older uh, Viewmaster, and it was quite a deal when I found it. So I want to pass it along to you guys. So you're going to get the box and you're going to get the Viewmaster. And then this one is the seven, it's called Seven More Wonders of the World. And so you're going to get um, Crater Lake. What else did I see in here? Grand Canyon National Park. You're going to get the Hoover Dam. You're going to get uh grand teton national park so there's all i don't know how many of these are one two three there's probably 10 or 12 of the actual um discs inside i know how fun those were right right <laughs> so the whole time. Great, great for display and then again it would be a really cool gift for somebody if you wanted to because you've got both the case and all of the uh, cartridges as well. And then I think this says, yeah, this says Viewmaster on it as well. So it's a great- That's so cool. I, I haven't seen one with the actual case. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You see somebody has it in a shoe box or something. Right, exactly. Yeah, but it's a nice sturdy plastic case. So, and it was improved by inspector number one. I think it actually says made in the United States of America. As well as back when plastic was here in a um, there you go. those are my three items, I believe. Yeah, I, I didn't I, I didn't, I didn't know that came in a box. Yeah, yeah, here it is. And it actually says Viewmaster. It's a very 50s sort of box. So right. yeah. It's nice to find the those are your three. Those are my three. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, y'all. I'm gonna do something a little different. Go figure, right? These are gonna start at three dollars and it's gonna be <clears throat> a three dollar start choice i don't know how this is going to work but we'll see um because i have some wooden baby hangers i have several of them that have the little like this has a little those are two bunnies right and then this one is coming off a little and this looks like it was like a, a farm kind of scene. But these are all the same, right? And they're wooden and they have the metal, <clears throat> the metal top. And then I have this one that's a little bit different. This one has the boy, the mom and the and the dad goose in their clothing. But you can tell I was taking these to the booth. They're already inventory tagged and everything. So these are three dollars each. They are wooden 
um, and they do have the metal piece at the top. Some people like to display things on them. Um, and some people just like them for the aesthetic. Some people actually use them. I think I only technically have one where the transfer is actually um, solid. And this one looks like a bunny with a wheelbarrow. But there is still coming, there's some coming off of there. So I have four of the green wooden. They're like a light green, mint green color. And they've got great distressing on them naturally i think these are beautiful and then i have the one with the geese and so they are three dollars each yes i do have fun refilling my booth i do and i like to do one of them very seasonally um <clears throat> and i've got a place to hang some hangers on there but um, I, I wanted to get a few, like maybe an apron or something to hang off of these. I've got some other wooden hangers as well. But these are $3 each start choice. So if you're interested in any of those, just let me know. All right. My next one is also going to be a choice. And it's going to be an offer up. You know, I just like to keep it moving. Just keep it confusing. Um, so there are, this is called the pitcher choice because I have two pitchers, not pictures, pitchers. Um, <clears throat> so cute. So these are going to be $8 choice. The first one is a little Freddy the Frog. Oh, I that. think this has been a hobbyist piece. You see where it had the, the pieces on here where the little it would be it would have sat on the kiln to spin it around but i think they did a great job with freddie the frog they've got a little bit of pink um in the background like pink added to this this would have been like a white or whatever and then the pink lily pad but look at that frog <laughs> he's in great condition it's a little creamer i know i think they did a great job on this i'll double check but I do not remember seeing any chips or cracks in this. It's even got a, like a 3D little leaf right here. Another little leaf. So we've got the $8 choice for the Freddy the Frog. Or $8 for the Lefton um, pitcher. So I'm going to show you that it does have the Lefton sticker on there. And it is a beautiful little tiny pitcher. <laughs> Apple eye color outside the line. This one has, I, I think this is probably going to be a transfer. You think this is a transfer, Michelle? Yeah, I think it's, it is. But the, it's sweet. Yeah. Um, but here's the little transfer of the wildflowers, which I think is beautiful. I love the handle on this. And I love the little ornate design in the pitcher pour piece and it is left and it does have its sticker there i did not measure these so let me um let you measure these these are going to be an eight dollar start and they're going to be a choice this is four inches by four inches so four inches to the height and four inches from here to here so that's on the left end one that is eight dollars and then the Freddy the Frog is three and a half inches by, um, I'm going to say right at five inches. So three and a half by five. And again, these are your choice. Nothing alike, but they're pitchers. $8 choice start for the pitchers. Oh. That'd be great okay. with daffodils or tulips in them. That'd be I know, right? So cute. All right. <clears throat> okay, y'all. My next one is a doozy. It's a doozy doozy. I showed Michelle right before we went on. It is a seven-piece vanity set. Seven-piece. And Michelle will help me with this if I get sidetracked. But it is, um, is going to be $48. For seven pieces. And it's a seven piece vintage celluloid with the green and a mother of pearl kind of feel to it. This is a celluloid piece. This is number seven of seven. I have them all 
so numbered, but there are no chips or no cracks in any of these. You're going to get seven pieces. So this is the first piece, which is like the powder. Okay. No chips, cracks, or anything. Now, over on this side, you will see that it's a little coming apart. A little bit of glue there would on the inside would make that fine, but I didn't want to mess with it. Um, it is a celluloid piece. It's in wonderful condition. So you're going to get the powder box. That's one piece. You're going to get the hairbrush. I don't know what piece this. This is one of seven, but you're going to get the hairbrush piece with this. You're also going to get, well, this is five of seven. This is not, this is this is $48 number 33. I, I'm not, I'm not going to, unless is the price $48 is the price. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a flat price y'all because we'll see it's number 33. I have the, it's a great condition. The buffer in the celluloid. I got that piece it's $48 for the whole set. I have the shoehorn that matches again it's in great condition no no chips or cracks i have i call this the dental pick but i don't know really what it is what is this is it for looping like for buttons or a, a loop or something sure. i don't know but again this it all matches and this piece is metal this is a metal it could be for looping <laughs> then I have a fingernail file slash weapon slash letter opener, but it is a fingernail file. And then your final piece is that what I call. Sorry, a button button hook. Hook. that's there what I was going to say. A looping button thingy. Yes, there you go. Yeah. And so then this piece is um, a little salve. Now, I think this. Nope, that's celluloid. I think that's celluloid. I'm going to say it's celluloid. And then it doesn't smell, so I don't know if it had salve or if it would have been a perfumed. You know, you're supposed to spray your perfume and put like um, Vaseline, and it's supposed to make it like last longer. Uh -huh. um, so it is in excellent condition. So again, it is seven piece um, vintage celluloid green mother of pearl style vanity set. And again, let's see if I can just do them by number. That would be great because that would be so helpful. Seeing as I number them, one of seven is the brush. It's $48 number 33, number 33 for this. Number two is the button hook. The button hook, which I've never seen. Number, no, wait, that's one and two. Number three, the fingernail file. And again, no chips or cracks in the um, celluloid at all. Number four is the shoehorn. Number five is the nail buffer. And it and it's still in great condition. And it has its little case without any cracks in it. Number six is the salve, which I call salve. I'd probably put Vicks in there, to be honest with you. I'll probably put Vicks on tonight. But, and I love the little scallop design in that. And then number seven is the, the um, powder box. <clears throat> That's in great condition. And again, you're going to get all seven pieces just $48 and it's going to be number 33 number 33 for that seven piece set and i think that was my third for this round so i'm going to turn it over to you i've never seen anything like it no that was a find that is such a find man all the pieces yeah well done well played <laughs> Um, I'm going to go back to animal miniatures again. These are a pair of Hagen Redeker animals. Again, they're going to be $6 start for both of them. Uh, and here we have the trunk up elephant 
for one. And he's kind of like a combo of three colors with his trunk up. Um, and he's very, very cute. Uh, and then I have another seal. There's like a seal theme tonight. So here's a little seal, Hagen Renneker guy, a little brown seal. Those start at $6 for those guys. And I don't see any interest, but that's okay. So those I love that. I have a whole box of those, of miniature yeah. Hagen Renegers, and I have yet to even start even looking at them. I don't have anywhere to store them. So I think that's why, like, once I, I need some of those little divided boxes, I feel like that would help me kind of store them because they're kind of fragile. You don't, you, you know, yeah. you need to put them where you want to put them and then yeah. just kind of leave them there. Oh, Lisa Christie. Oh, man. All right. Um, my, just a second, I got to plug my computer in because I've apparently forgotten to do that. That's okay. <laughs> I have my charger right here. I, I don't want to go down on you guys. Okay. Um, then the next item I have, I have a pair of, uh, a piece of bittersweet for you. This bad oh, boy fun. is going to start at $30 because bittersweet just does those things. <laughs> but um, I think this is an Ellie Smith um, orange ruffled open candy dish. Those so are so a cool. Bit of white at the top. Yeah. And then the graduated orange down to the bottom. She does glow. If I can find my glowy stick. It's going to be hard to probably see, but she will glow. Um, see a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what the best, let me not break it. I don't know what the best way to do the. the yeah, glow. I see a little bit of it, especially on the on the stand. Yeah, the, the stem <laughs> is actually where it's going to glow the most. So, um, and this guy um, is, is smaller than the um, piece of Viking. So this is just about seven and a quarter inches wide so a little bit closer to your face um and there's a couple of imperfections in in the bittersweet but all the bittersweet i've ever owned has kind of just seen it's not really um it's not really cracks it's just imperfections in the bittersweet and i think that's just sort of some of what it does but you will see some um it's not a crack because it, it, you don't feel it with your fingers, but you just sort of see an imperfection in the skin. So I love bittersweet. It's one of my favorite. Um, uh, yeah. And I just see that. I mean, I don't know why I think of bittersweet and think of Halloween, but yeah. really um, it's super, super pretty for um, even into the fall, like fall into Halloween and then coming back out for spring because I just think that's so pretty. Yeah. And then if, if you have a glowing cabinet, um, you obviously the cadmium in here is going to glow as well. So they'll also glow. Yeah. And then um, the next piece that I have is going to start at 25. Um, and this is a big piece of Fenton. Um, mm. So I don't know if I would call this stretcher, stretcher swung. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not an expert. But she does have six fingers at the top. Wow, that's um, beautiful. And it is marked Fenton on the bottom. You won't be able to see that because of my camera, but it is marked. The Fenton is there on the bottom. Um, this is a beautiful piece, and it's exquisite for spring. It's about 14 inches tall. Um, and, she, yeah, she is the piece for spring. Looks great with flowers, great in a display. Um, and then it sort of has this gorgeous quilted sort of look here. I think I love the color. The color is beautiful yeah. with long stem daffodils in there Ooh. or calla lilies. Oh, that would be so pretty. And the opening is not, it looks like a castle tower. Yeah. The opening is not super big. So you're not going to, not going to fit a lot of flowers in there. Um, but yes, spring and winter both. This is a very, it's just that blue, that Robin's blue color. Um, yeah. That's beautiful. So it's a gorgeous piece. Yep, no chips, no cracks. And this guy is a stunner. I found him like in an intake booth way up in the corner of a cabinet. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Geneva is, at, is, is back in the background. In. Thank you, Geneva. <laughs> you're going to love this. That's beautiful. Yeah, you're going to love this. Okay, well, I'll start the countdown for Geneva. 
at 10, 9. Oh, some of the ruffles are like deeper than others too, which is really kind of fun. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Thank you, Geneva. Thank you so much. You are going to love this. Yeah, yeah that is. Beautiful. This is for you. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah, good gift. That was really good. She said she loves her blues. And that's my three. All right. That's your three. All right. My last three. <clears throat> I'm going to start with a piece of jewelry. I just think this is so, so pretty. And it is a spring class bangle. I had this on. I love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I love the detail in the back or in the silver portions. This is a um, silver tone. But then it has like a blue and green and blue green um, rhinestones in there. Um, I think this one is acrylic and um, then the other ones are glass. But I will say that they do fluoresce in the uh, greenish color. And I think that's because of the coating on there. Um, so I love that it's like the blue here and then there's a green faceted one in here and it's just a spring. So you simply open it and put it in and look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, y'all. That is so, so pretty. I absolutely love this. Maybe if it doesn't sell, I'll wear it to church on Sunday or Easter because that's pretty. But right now we're at the rodeo and county fairs and all that kind of stuff. This is absolutely beautiful. It is a two and a half inch silver tone green and blue acrylic and glass bead snap bracelet. And it is going to be $14 number 24. It is stunning. It is $14 number 24. And it's beautiful on. The colors are great. $14 number 24. We never find one of these in our jewelry jars, do we, Miss Ellen? No, we don't find anything this great. I know, peacock vibes. I love that. Again, <clears throat> number 24, $14 for that one. I just thought that was so beautiful. All right. My next one is a linen lot that is going to be $6. Six, yeah, no, we don't find that. The linen lot, I even did them up like this, you know, in my spare time. So the linen lot has a towel with the purple trim and pink flowers. It's a linen towel and it comes with a multicolored matching crocheted pot holder. So here's your crocheted pot holder. I think this is a four by four if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I lied to you. This is an eight by eight. Hey, Sandy. I hey. just told I just told Michelle. Oh, my God. I hope my camera doesn't drop. Didn't I? So <laughs> this is a beautiful, very Easter colors in that. I think that would be really pretty, um, especially under something that's clear glass. That's really pretty. But I did pair it with, and I'm not sure if this is linen. Y'all, what is this material? My mama would know. It, it's not stiff like linen, um, but I think it's linen. It's the, it's like what pants are made out of. You know, linen pants. Yeah. And they're kind of flowy. Yeah. Um, but it has a beautiful purple edge on it. And then it has some fabric and um, detailed flowers on there. It's got a little uh, needlework on there. It is a beautiful, um, beautiful towel. So you're going to get two pieces, two pieces of this linen lot for $6, number 29. Two pieces of the linen lot, $6, number 29. I just thought they were cute little Easter colors. This one may be for a tea towel in the bathroom. And this one, like to put under something, especially something that's clear glass. Let's see if I can not drop this. But look how pretty, like, that would be pretty sitting on that. That would be really cute. <clears throat> so the linen lot is $6 for these two pieces number 29 and my last item my last item what is sandy drinking what is she doing she's she's, she's got a cat walking across her keyboard i bet oh it's a cat to me 
like, Sandy, will you try and get over there? All right. The last thing that I have also I put in my um, my stories. I don't know. I kind of got we didn't have any Internet, so I couldn't do it at school. Rude. I had to work. Um, it is a three footed floral tall trinket dish. She's day drinking. It is made in Japan. Let me show you the sticker right here that says made in Japan. I can't make out this mark right here, but I love the feet on this. Look how dainty that is. And it's got three little feet, no chips or cracks on there. And it's got the little pink roses. And then it's got the pink roses on the lid. So here's the inside. And then here is the lid. I don't know if it's otagiri or not. I got dirt in the inside of it. I'll get that out later. Yeah, that's very bulbous too. <laughs> bulbous like my figure. Um, we've decided. So I just think the legs on this is beautiful. I've always loved this style. <clears throat> and this is not this is gonna be $12 number 34. $12, number 34, for the dainty little trinket dish. Who needs a liver? Nobody needs a liver when you're this old. Let's just all forget about it. But I think this is beautiful. Let me give you the dimensions on it. It is going to stand three inches tall, and it's going to be about four inches in diameter. So it's a really good size. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Putting your um, Putting like your day jewelry and things when you take off your jewelry, I think that would be cute to have. I use a, um, actually use a old sugar dish that I got from Patrick Trusty Hunt for Mercantile. And um, it, it holds a lot. It, it really does hold a lot. Yeah, these, these little feet, those are my favorite. But those are, it's $12, number 34. Do not break it. Leave it over there. All right, so Michelle, did you want to do a recap and show some of your items? Yeah, if we have time, I'm happy to yeah. do that. I mean, I'll do if you would like. If you would like to, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let me. So I want to say thank you so much while she gets her things together because I kind of just threw that on her. Yeah. But yeah. if you, uh, thank you so much for being here and thank you for hanging out in the chats with us. That is the most fun part of doing these live sales. Um, selling is wonderful, but hanging out with our friends, especially after the day that I had, I love hanging out with my YouTube friends. Um, so I appreciate everybody being here. And of course, we all love Michelle. So welcoming her and making her feel welcome. I'm super glad that she was able to join me. Uh, our emails are right here in the blue. So make sure if we don't have your information that you send it. If you are watching the replay or you end up watching it back and making a decision about something, email us directly or simply put it in the comments. Thank you, Miss Helen. Um, simply put it in the comments and if you're watching and you never have to buy anything i'd love for you to just comment and say cute items this is the one that i like the best it kind of helps us know what to bring um and what people are looking for so i wanted to say thank you first for everybody that came out today and we're going to do a quick kind of recap i'll let michelle show as many as she needs to show and then if you're ready to take a break and get reorganized then i'll show a few okay thank you all right Thank you everyone for coming. Um, it has been a long time since I sold online, so I appreciate Beth's invite and you guys being here and supporting, uh, especially those that just logged on to say hi and give best wishes. Um, I have quite a few items um, left. I think I may have overpriced these the first time, but they are two embroidery pieces and uh, these were going for $12. So if you want those, you can just type flowers in there. $12 um, for flowers. And you're going to get both, um, both pictures for $12. Both pictures, yes. Um, I have a 1950s uh, Sawyer Viewmaster in the case. This guy's uh, $25. And you can just put Viewmaster in. It's for the box. It's for the... Um, actual there's a there's probably a dozen of those in here the actual cartridges that fit inside and then of course the retro viewmaster this is a cool one i like it it's very 50s 
esque. So I've never seen one with the case. So it doesn't sell tonight. She's going on eBay. As as big as my mouth is, y'all, I just miss my mouth with my water. Oh I just no! <laughs> oh. Um, and then I think I had six dollars on this little lamby. I love so that. You the lamb. I was thinking just put a bow around him so you can put lamb in there for six dollars. Okay, I see you, Master. Are you claiming oh, that, that Helen? Yeah, you want that, Helen? I'd love to give it to you. I'll even deliver it to your house. Um, shipping. <laughs> free shipping for Helen. Um, this is a $30 custard glass. Uh, fairy said, yeah. Okay, it's sold to you, Helen. Thank you. Um, uh, a $30 uh, Fenton Old Virginia custard glass fairy lamp, which we uh, summon the Martians when we do this. But she oh my gosh, that is a great glow, y'all. Glowy glow, yeah. Yeah, custard glass is, um, has, is extra glowy. Um, the other little guy that I don't want to forget about is my little blue bunny bank. Uh, so it's a really cute little Christmas blue, or Christmas, goodness, Easter or springtime uh, blue bunny bank. And he is, for change, he's $15. And is it can, glass or metal? This is glass. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was metal, but that's yeah, glass. This is glass. This is blue glass. It has a plastic uh, part at the bottom that has some damage on it. But if you just take this off, it would be perfectly fine. It just has a hole in the bottom. So, yeah, and this no, I that. $15 and you can say bunny. And those will be the ones that I, I think that's good enough for me for a recap. Those are my big ones. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Helen. Okay, I'm going to recap just a few then. Um, let me choose, I don't know, three or four. I don't know. I have the two Anna Lee Choice. They are the two St. Patrick's Day Anna Lees. <clears throat> Sandy wants the bunny. All right, I got I you. It was metal. I love it even more yeah. now that it's yeah, So too. I have the two. Anna Lee's. One is the bread maker. She's the little bread chef. Um, and she has the Irish soda bread mix with her little um, hat on and her wooden spoon. And um, did you sell the little geese? Uh, no, I did not, Cheryl. Would you like those for $6 those, for the pair? Yeah, those six for the pair, right? Yep. And the other is the drunken chipper, the Irish lad. These are 2012s, um, and they are Anna Lee's. They are going to be $24 choice, number 21. $24 choice, number 21, if anybody is interested in them. And there is no damage to this. Um, <clears throat> the other one that I had was, I want to show the Bohemian glass again. This is a, a vintage NASCO. I think that it's NASCO emerald green with the gold accents, hand-painted Bohemian glass base. I'm seeing Japan, but this green is just too much. This green is too much. Um, and so it is just really good. No chips or cracks in this. This is going to be $18.00. Number 32, $18, number 32 for the green glass bohemian um, vase. I did have this little cutie patootie, y'all. $6 for the 2001 Thai bunny, and their name is Carrot. She has the baby pink right here in her ears and on her feet, and she's got the sprinkle. She looks like funfetti cake to me. I see number 32, the green vase, go into Miss Martha for 18. Thank you, Miss Martha. Got it. I got it. I'm going to put it way over, way over there. Um, this is going to be, her name is Bunnies. She's 2001 Thai, and um, she is $6. I forgot what I was looking at. Where's she at? Oh, what number was she? Number 22. $6, number 22. Perfect for an Easter basket. Yes, good get, Miss Martha. Good get. And then I think I'm going to show, I think I'm going to show the seven piece again, just because, what, what are we drinking? Okay. 
the seven piece sandy's over at our house dropping my phone drinking all the things this is going to be this is a seven piece celluloid vintage vanity set i have all seven pieces for all seven pieces it's in wonderful condition it's going to be 48 dollars it's going to be 48 dollars number 33 and it is a celluloid um piece that has the mother of pearl green style i mean I, you it's celluloid so it's not going to be mother of pearl but it it's got that look to it so you get the powder box in great condition no cracks or anything you get the little what i'm calling the salve jar but i'm sure it was perfume and um it is a screw off piece you're going to get that piece you're going to get the nail buffer in the celluloid carriage part little carriage part and the buffer is actually in really great condition you're going to get the shoehorn or your happy pills yes you can stash your happy pills or any other thing you need to stash in there i don't need to know about that you get the shoehorn you get the weapon slash letter opener slash double-sided nail file with and it's all a matching set i have learned this is a button hook this is a button hook same thing and it's got the the celluloid on the side and then the mother of pearl and here's the button hook there thank you miss helen and the seventh piece is the brush but i just think this is a beautiful set all seven pieces for 48 dollars all seven pieces for 48 dollars and i think that's all that i am going to show for today thank y'all so much for coming this was so much fun and i will again i will be invoicing this weekend and michelle will be invoicing this weekend right yes, yes. That's cool. we both work we both have to go to work yeah i mean if you missed my story today my story was i eat lunch while i kid threw up i just <laughs> had to eat lunch it was the only time i could eat lunch i don't know what to say so i just had to do it you know i saw 39 kids today so um yes it's just been that kind of day and this has been the highlight of my day to have a little sale and hang out with all of y'all in the chats and it's been i know work and when i show up cheryl they think i want to do things they did not get the memo they i had a posh job before my nurse got sick but bless her heart she couldn't help it and i have to forgive her and i have to keep on working but i had a posh little job before she got sick i was just her backup and i clapped for her and all the things and helped her every once in a while but now they want me to work and i think that's <laughs> awful that's just me so thank y'all so much i mean michelle i know you got a lot going on with a, a kiddo and work and all the things um I know. I showed up. They want me to work. <laughs> Thank you um, for inviting me, Bab. I had a great time. It's great to hang you're out. You're welcome. We'll do it anytime you want to. Um, I, Sundays or um, Thursdays. Y'all, I might take next week off because it is spring break. So I'm strongly considering. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Martha. Thank you. It's great to meet you. And um, I might take spring break off, y'all. I mean, I also might be sick as a dog because I'm getting sick, but you know, we'll take it off anyway. Um, but I have a, during spring break next Thursday, y'all is our drop hop sale, the March drop hop sale. And Miss um, Helen is in that. Patrick, the trusty huckster mercantile, Manor House Vintage is in there. Mimi's Treasure Cottage, Vintage Vinny, me, um, D, the thrill of the thrift. And we are adding a newbie. Um, Angie from Angie's Oddities is going to be closing out the sale. She wants to try it. So we're going to, we love to have, um, yes, I can. I'm sick. I can, I can be still or do things sitting down. Christy, leave me alone. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we're excited about that. I think that what time did we say that it was going to start? Um, I think I did the schedule and Miss Helen, I am so sorry. I left her off. 
Um, D is going to kick us off at 530. I'm going to be at 6. Helen is going to be at 630. Rachel, Manor House Vintage at 7. Mimi's Treasure Cottage at 730. Patrick, Trusty Huckster at 8. 830 is Vinny and 9 is Angie's Angie's Oddities. We do have some great people. Um, if anybody's ever interested in doing a drop sale, all you got to do is contact me. We do have a list of people that we try to go through. Um, and sometimes we just go through. If they say, I can't do it, then we go. And some people have said they want to be in every single one. So that's why you see a lot of the people that are the same. Um, and we don't have any new people. But I've got so, a couple of new people or people that are returning. So if anybody's ever wanting to do that, just send an email through or a message through Instagram. And I am rotating with Patrick, Trusty Huckster Mercantile. So I'm going to do March and he's going to do April. And it's going to be March. It's going to be Thursday, March. Oh my God, I'm fixing the light, y'all. Thursday, March, the, what is that Thursday in March, y'all? The 14th. Yeah, yeah. It's the 14th. So a week from today, I guess I should record my video, huh? Now, remember, all of these are pre-recorded videos and you'll claim items in the comments of these videos. I love doing the drop sales. It's really beneficial for people who can't be sitting at the computer for the live sales and they get an opportunity to pick up some really great things. So that's what's coming up for me. Michelle, do you have anything coming up? I don't. I this I kind of came out of retirement for the sale, so I don't. I am around in the chats and looking forward to seeing this drop sale next week. That'll be exciting. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it anytime. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful night. Go hang out on YouTube. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye, y'all. Thanks for coming. Bye.